this video. Fifty likes and I do get this. What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm giving y'all a campus tour. So we now are at Towers. Um, this is, I'm not exactly sure what tower building this is, but all the buildings pretty much look the same. Towers does look very modern, but yeah, Towers in my opinion is very beautiful. The outside is very, you know, welcoming and green, as you can see. They have like cute little chairs outside of your building. For the people that are living in Towers, you got a parking garage right across from you, so not too bad. It's like literally walking distance, obviously, so um, that's a good thing, it's a plus. So we just walked over here from Towers. Towers is actually right over there. It's really close. Um, all you really have to do is just go through the Towers building and you'll be in this area right here. This area pretty much has Amazon, Burger U, Barnes & Nobles, um, Jimmy John's, the arena right over there. Like It pretty much has everything here as far as restaurants. It also has a student dining right over here. This is if you um, pay for your meal plan. You can come over here to eat. This area does tend to be pretty packed because other people besides UCF students come over here, whether it's for a restaurant, whether it's to go to the Amazon store to pick up packages, or Barnes & Noble, stuff like that. So this area is usually pretty packed. So yeah, let's move down over to the arena so y'all can check that out. Alright guys, so we made our way over to the arena. Very short, quick walk. Um, the arena is where you can watch the basketball games, you can watch um, the concerts, they also have a couple events inside of there sometimes. During winter break in December they have um, carnival rides over here, a ferris wheel, like Christmassy setup with lights and everything. You also get a look of Memory Mall when you're standing right over here which is really cool. Um, it's actually pretty busy over there today. Wow. walk a little further you get um, more restaurants on this side Domino's, Gringo's, Locos, Subway, Dunkin stuff like that the restaurants don't stop you got it everywhere and by the way over there is more towers housing like I said there's multiple buildings so more is on the other side Alright guys, so we have walked over to Memory Mall. During the week, Memory Mall is very packed. Very, very packed um, because everybody's out walking to class. Alright guys, so like I said, over here at Memory Mall, people are playing games. They hold events over here. As you can see, I think there's an event that's going to go on later or already went on. And then there's also buildings for classes. There's a whole bunch of garages that surround Memory Mall as well. So let's walk on over. So I'm going to go inside of CB1 and CB2. CB1 and CB2 are... Pretty much where a majority of people's classes are. So I'm gonna go inside, show y'all what it looks like a little bit, and then we're gonna head out and walk over to the student union. TV2 is right here, psychology is right here, and also a parking garage is also all the way down there. So that's another area for y'all to park at. But yeah, let's walk into CB2 right now. I had to show y'all what inside a lecture hall looks like because I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are curious. So um, that's what I'm about to do. So that's what a lecture room looks like. 
there are a lot of seats a lot of seats probably could hold like 500 students no just kidding 375 375 so i have a lot of classes in this building so that's pretty much cb2 but as you can see right across is cb1 they're right next to each other so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what cb1 looks like <sighs> yo shout out to my cameraman so you got some elevators and cb1 It's a little bit different from CP2. There's a lot more that I feel like there's a lot more classes in this building. The lecture room pretty much looks the same. Um, I'll see if I can find a, a classroom that I could show y'all, because you know I do anything for y'all. So this is, this is what the class looks like in CP2 and CP1. Pretty much the same size. Actually, a little bit bigger, honestly, right? So this is pretty much CB1. Uh, there is multiple floors as well. I think there's three or four floors. Yeah, I'm not really gonna go through all of those because it's pretty much the same thing. So, this is pretty much what you see as you head outside. The architecture of this building is actually very pretty. Like, go ahead and like look look at this. This is like beautiful. I feel like the architecture of these buildings that you see are really nice, in my opinion. So now I'm gonna show y'all HPA. It's pretty much the Health and Public Affairs building. CB ones, like I said, CB ones right here. If you walk a little bit further, you get HPA, um, and that's the Health and Public Affairs, like I said. It's a nice looking building too. And also I know a lot of y'all like Starbucks and stuff like that. So there's, there is a Starbucks right next to the HPA building. Um, so y'all Starbucks lovers will always be able to get coffee. But keep in mind the lines are always packed. Look at this view. Look at this view guys. Yo, UCF is so beautiful bruh. No one can ever say UCF is an ugly campus cause like what? Okay guys, so we are now outside of HPA. Um, I'm not gonna go inside because pretty much they all kind of look the same and all the classrooms kind of look the same, so there's no point in going inside of every building. This is, that's just gonna make this video way too long. A mixture of classes are also in here, so um, you could possibly have a class in this building. It's right next to Starbucks, CB1, and the engineering building. All right, so let's continue down to the engineering building. And then from the engineering building, we can make our way to the student Alright guys, so we now made our way to the engineering building. Um, this is for all you engineers out there. You'll most likely have a class in this building once you are dived more into your major. So right next to the engineering building is an Einstein bagel. So that is another restaurant. And as, you see, as we keep walking, there's the business administration building over there. And there's the College of Science. Alright, so we now made our way over to the business administration building. This is for all you business majors finance people accounting entrepreneurship management and also a mixture of other classes are in this building it's not necessarily just business people keep in mind student unions right over there so um it's really close so now we're gonna make our way over to the student union i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like inside a little bit um as you see right in front of the student union is a smoothie king So now that we have just left the student union, right across from the student union is everybody's favorite fast food place, and that is Chick-fil-A, okay? Um, it's always packed in there, always. Um, so y'all got you gotta go like in between classes. This is the library, it has actually been recently rebuilt. Actually, some of it has the first floor, um, and it actually looks absolutely beautiful. The glass is amazing, but yeah, I don't think it's open yet. So as you walk into this little breezeway, like you get Chick-fil-A, Domino's, the bookstore, 
restroom. So yeah, people also sit over here um, during the week to do homework, to eat, to just chill. And that's the bookstore. When you pass through the John T. Washington Center, um, to your right is like visual arts building. And like Lake Claire is also another housing, apartment housing on campus. I don't know if we'll be able to show you that because we are trying to film all this while the sun is out. Pretty much just showing you all the more important buildings that people use a lot. So now we are walking over to the infamous water fountain. Pretty much I think what makes our campus is that water fountain right there. Alright guys, so we now have made our way over to the library. Um, honestly, the library, everybody knows what a library has. Right next to the library you have, like I said, the John T. Washington Center over there. And then you also have the Mathematical Sciences Building to our left, which I'll show y'all. Right in front of the library is the waterfall, the infamous waterfall, and Millican Hall. That's where you go for your financial issues and stuff like that. This area, this part of campus to me is like probably my favorite because like this fountain is beautiful especially when the weather is like what it is today so right in front of me it was is also the education building it's actually a very beautiful it's probably one of the best looking buildings on campus in my opinion i'm not gonna walk all the way over there because like i said i'm trying to make sure i can go through this whole campus with sun and it doesn't look like that's gonna happen as we keep walking we're gonna be walking towards the housings um like um apollo libra hercules um that's where we're gonna end up soon Oh, also on campus, there is an ice cream yeah. parlor shop, whatever you call it. It's called Toppers. It's right over there. It's actually, it's right, be it's right in front of the library. The soft serve ice cream. I heard it's really good. And there's seating over there as well. I want to say a quick shout out to all y'all. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel, um, liking my videos. If y'all haven't checked out my previous video, The Scare Prank, go ahead and check it out, guys. But anyways, we just got to the Mathematical Sciences building. This is where math classes be. There's a mixture of classes over here as well. Honestly, a lot of these buildings just hold the mixture of classes. But there are a lot of math classes in this building, like college algebra if you have to take it. Um, trig, because there's computer labs in there. I also had physics lab in here as well. So, yeah. But as we're walking straight... Now we're walking into Apollo. Apollo is one of the oldest housings on campus. This is for where the freshmen stay. So if you're a freshman, you have a chance of living here. But it's honestly not that bad. It is just the oldest one. Um, living at Apollo, you are closer than Hercules. Hercules is, is the one all the way down past the gym. And that's where I lived my freshman year. I lived at Hercules. And I had to walk 15 minutes to class every single day. So if you live in Apollo, you're honestly closer. It's just not, it's just not as nice as Hercules was. As we keep walking down this way, to our left, there's a health center. I'm not gonna walk exactly to it, but you can see it's the health center. It's actually a very nice building if you get closer to it, but we're not gonna be able to, but that is the health center. If you ever have health needs, you gotta go see a doctor. It's right there, it's right next to Libra and it's right next to Apollo. So y'all will be in good hands. So we are now walking through Feral Common. There's dining right in front of us for people with the meal plans. I did have a meal plan my freshman year, but I honestly barely went because I personally did not like the food. I recommend if you're gonna come to UCF and visit this campus, try the food out before you buy the meal plan and make sure you like it. We're gonna make our way down this way because I wanna show y'all what Libra looks like. So we are now at the Libra community. Like I said, it's one of the housings for freshmen on campus. Um, it's cute, you know, it's cute. Like I said, this is the dining for freshmen. Not for freshmen, but for anybody with the meal plan. It's called 63 South. But like right now we're walking towards the gym. I love freaking UCF. Look at all these trees. Look at all these trees. pretty much gonna go inside the gym and I'm gonna show y'all a little bit what it looks like I can't really show you too much all right there is also a smoothie king inside the gym which is a blessing and a curse Alright guys, so as we are leaving the gym, um, 
right in front of us is the rec pool. Um, this pool is open to any UCF student. Um, I actually have never been in it myself, so I don't know if it's cold or if they have it heated. But it's actually a really nice pool. I would recommend y'all to come over and check it out. Now we're going to be walking into more housing. Like I said, it'll be Nike, Hercules, and Neptune. So this is pretty much what we just walked through. The gym, the pool, and Poyo down there. And now in front of us is the housings. All right, so we're now in the Academic Village housing. Academic Village housing pretty much holds Hercules, Nike, and Neptune. Neptune is where you get your own room, but you gotta share your bathroom. Hercules is where you have to share a room and you gotta share a bathroom, and Nike is the exact same as Hercules. They're pretty much identical, just on the opposite sides of each other. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a little close up of the buildings for y'all, but I cannot go inside because I sadly don't have a key. <laughs> so let's get to it. So we are now gonna be walking towards the Neptune community. The Neptune community, um, besides having obviously your housing and your rooms, inside of it they have a pod, pod market, snacks that you would get like a gas station or something. So yeah, this is pretty much Neptune. I can't go inside of the buildings, but you know, this is what the community looks like and it's actually really nice. All right guys, so we're now at the Hercules housing. We started at Towers, which is all the way at the top of campus, and now we're ending at Hercules, which is all the way at the other side of campus. So this is Hercules, this is where I stayed. This exact building is where I stayed to my freshman year. And walking through here, it's just like bringing me so many memories. They have the um, dorms in here, and then right across from the dorms are your laundry rooms, which I'll show y'all what the laundry rooms look like. And then you do have to share a kitchen with all your residents inside of the office over there. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the video right here. I'm going to end the video where I started my freshman year.